Hey everybody, welcome back to Holt Growers. I'm your host, Timothy Holt, and today we're on the farm. Now, there have been some drawbacks this week and uh, over the last two weeks actually in the greenhouse area, which is where I'm at right now. Um, I've mentioned it briefly in passing in a couple other videos about my green beans, uh, specifically aphids. There was an aphid infestation, um, and I no longer have green beans. I wiped out the entire crop. I did get some crop out of those plants, actually quite a bit of crop uh, earlier in the season, but the aphids just took over about two weeks ago, and last week, after trying to get rid of them with various means, I just pulled all the plants out. Uh, actually, if you look behind me, you can see where they were, right there, and they're clearly not there anymore. Um, I did, however, take all of the stalks and feed them to my chickens, which they thoroughly enjoyed those aphids, as well as the entire stalks of the green beans. So, a little disappointed about that. Um, I had to tell quite a few customers that I didn't have any left as a result so hopefully they'll buy from me again next year um, if not I'll need to attract some new ones I suppose but that's not what today's topic is about today's topic is about peppers specifically banana peppers um, because they're right behind me as well and if you've been paying attention you'll know that these peppers went in really really late in the season um, most people I know have quite a few on their plants and they're pretty tall and doing well mine because of going in so late I have a late harvest which isn't that big of a deal it just means I didn't have as much time to uh, produce as I would have liked so I'm going to show you my pepper plants and they're actually right behind me uh, and how they're doing I already harvested about a dozen and a half almost two dozen uh, peppers off of these plants um, earlier in the week and you'll see they're still doing pretty well so let me get out of the way here and uh, let you see those beautiful plants right there now you'll notice I do have some cardboard down uh, this cardboard is just regular cardboard that actually goes right there however it does help quite a bit with weed control. I don't have a lot of weed problems because of um, off-season treatment of this plant bed, having it covered, having the cover crop on it, that type of thing. But just to keep those um, weeds at bay even more, I put down some cardboard. It also helps soak up a lot of the water. Um, but as you can see, these are my um, pepper plants and We'll just look here, see what's going on. Looks like I might have some caterpillar damage. There's some damage. I really hope the aphids didn't get over here as well. Um, but they are producing quite nicely. Uh, matter of fact, that one's ready right there. We'll just go ahead and pick that for you. So these uh, pepper plants are banana peppers. They're a sweet to hot pepper mid-grade um, I know quite a few people who really like them and enjoy them uh, a friend of mine gave me these plants late in the season because mine didn't do very well uh, from seeds and I really appreciate that so as you can see they've come in nicely I do have them clumped pretty close together this used to be where the garlic was over the winter um, you can check out that video where I cover the garlic and when the garlic came out, I didn't really have much to put here. Um, the rest of the crops were already in. So what I did is I put in these pepper plants uh, just to pretty much fill out the space. And they seem to will do really well. Um, this one here has three on it that are growing. That one does as well. Um, two of them don't have any yet, but they do have some buds and flowers, which is nice. Um, so, a little short video today, not covering a lot. Um, I'm a little disappointed about the aphids, but 
on a positive note, I do have lettuce down there, a um, spring mix lettuce in that bed. I went ahead and, and planted that. I don't expect those to be a crop and um, as far as selling is concerned. What I do expect is when the chickens are housed here over the winter, uh, they'll be able to eat it and it'll be good food for them. I had some leftover seed from the spring, so I went ahead and put it in just to get rid of it and fill the space. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you get out, grow something today, and may God richly bless you.